Hi, uh, my name is Aishwarya. I am a public health researcher uh, working on issues of maternal and child nutrition across South Asia and Southeast Asia. At Salzburg, um, I'm part of a project called Suno Sunao, um, and you'll be hearing from a few of our uh, team members on this. Uh, currently, there are over 280 million um, Indians who cannot read or write. As the world leaps forward to an age where technology is advancing so um, quickly, currently we have realized that there is a very vast um, uh, information asymmetry uh, in India itself. Um, what we want to do at Sono Sonao is to bridge this digital divide and uh, provide a platform uh, particularly for women who are unable to read or write, uh, which will focus on access to information, um, services, and any uh, responses to questions that they have. Uh, our platform focuses on an audio or video as a service platform, uh, where audio questions uh, will be prompted back uh, with a video or an audio response. Um, we aim to curate our own database um, which will include, um, you know, uh, uh, areas such as health, uh, governance, um, or any uh, specific question that uh, the woman would have. Um, part of our solution is also to um, ensure that uh, we keep up with the technology advancements that are happening. Uh, we want to uh, integrate, um, you know, things like ChatGPT and other uh, technologies uh, with our platform. Uh, this is an area that we are working on currently. Um, as a team, we, um, we know that knowledge is the first step towards change and that is something uh, that we want to address through our platform. Uh, as part of the Salzburg uh, projects, we have had a chance to uh, create a prototype of this platform. Uh, what we uh, were happily able to do was uh, pilot this uh, platform across three communities um, near Delhi. Uh, we had over 60 women who um, uh, used this platform and were able to give us feedback uh, from their experiences. Um, some of the key learnings that we had from that community outreach was um, the range of questions that were coming in as audio um, prompts from them. Uh, this ranged from questions on menstrual hygiene, um, reproductive health, to um, the kind of um, daycare that would be possible for their children while the women are at work, uh, to also pro uh, getting information on livelihoods um, in the area. So. Uh, this was, this was something that uh, we took back um, and were able to incorporate as part of our uh, wider uh, platform. And we're hoping that in the future, we're able to expand on the communities that we're able to reach. We're hoping to use learnings from our community outreach uh, to feed back into uh, the prototype and the platform to make it a more viable and sustainable um, project over a period of time. Uh, we want to make this community focused where um, the woman who's actually using the platform is the primary um, sort of uh, agent of this platform. Hello, I'm Aishwarya Raman, Executive Director of OMI Foundation Trust. Uh, I'm a sustainable mobility and sustainable livelihoods uh, uh, researcher, advocate, champion, etc. Uh, at Salzburg, along with my peers, I'm working on the project of Suno Sunao. Um, Suno Sunao is a voice as a service solution to women who cannot read or write. Uh, we recognize that information, knowledge uh, is power, and to help women overcome any hurdles imposed by um, uh, you know, a lack of literacy or a lack of skills. Uh, Suno Sunao is uh, created and has, and we envisage that it can become a woman's next best buddy, uh, only to their own friend or family member who already perhaps uh, give them access to a lot of information that can help them with their daily lives, professional or personal alike. Uh, let's take the case of Sumati. Uh, she is an Indian woman who has migrated from a small town, small village uh, to a larger city looking for jobs. Uh, she ends up as a domestic worker catering to household cleaning needs, cooking needs uh, of a group of houses in a small neighborhood in this large city. Uh, she has a ton of questions on 
uh, upskilling herself, uh, looking for new jobs, uh, sending her children to the right schools, schools that are both affordable and offer and can offer good quality education. Uh, to answer these questions, uh, she needs uh, access to a network of uh, folks with the right type of information or perhaps the internet that she is today unable to access because she's not uh, literate, uh, she's not digitally proficient. Uh, so this is where Suno Sunao comes in. Uh, Sumati is able to pose a question in the form of an audio query. Uh, in response to this query, the uh, chatbot, if you may, uh, responds with um, uh, video information, videos that can help Sumati uh, gain access to the right type of information, act on it and uh, take agency back within her own control. Um, this uh, solution is applicable to uh, not only uh, Sumati herself or uh, women in her uh, similar setup, but also women uh, you know, across India who may have low levels of literacy and skills. They may be engaged as uh, all kinds of informal sector workers today, as construction laborers, as um, uh, domestic workers like I already highlighted, as farmers, as, as uh, women providing professional home services, taking care of gardens, tending to gardens, um, uh, being drivers in um, uh, affiliated to platforms or otherwise. Um, they could be within and outside the organized and unorganized spaces. But these are women who are aspiring to do so much more in life, but low levels of literacy and skill are not helping them gain access to the right type of information that they can act on. Suno so Sunao so is a voice as a service solution that um, provides women with the right type of tools to access information and transform their lives.